Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is September 3rd of uh, 2018. I haven't made a YouTube video here in a while, so I thought it was time to, uh, to make one. I'm going to keep this short and I'm going to keep political information out of it. I don't really want to talk about politics and you all don't want to hear about it, that's for sure. Certainly not U.S. politics. Uh, this is my blog, which has been going since 1982. But I, over the years, of course, changed tremendously the, the you know, the servers that it ran on, the services that it, you know, that, it, that I used, when they would be created or whatever, I would give them a try. I can't remember all the, you know, live journal. I can't remember what was before live journal. Uh, type pad, uh, WordPress, I'm just, you know, my first BBS, I, in 1982, I had to write the software for it, for the BBS program, uh, using BASIC. So, uh, but, you know, back, maybe I, I had a thousand people a day reading my blog. Maybe there was times when it was 6,000 when I would have something that was interesting a day. And now ugh, nobody goes to my blog anymore. Everybody goes to WordPress, which I hate, or uh, Twitter or something else. Twitter, I, you know, I don't use WordPress. I don't really use Twitter. Well, the software, like for my blog, when I post something on the blog, which I don't do very often anymore, uh, it automatically, without me, you know, automatically sends it to, you know, with a link on Facebook or whatever. So, but I'm not, I don't do it and then click on something and say, send it to WordPress or whatever. So that's sort of my excuse for not, you know, I only go to WordPress to check and see what my family's, you know, going on or people that I went to school with or uh, worked with or something like that. I, I really do not like WordPress. But uh, the BBS was around before any, it was around, um, it was a CompuServe, I believe, was before me before 1982, and I think AOL, AOL. But other than all the rest of these, uh, you know, I was online before Google, uh, before Facebook, before YouTube. I was streaming video before, you know, before there was a YouTube uh, and putting up videos and stuff, so. Uh, I just wanted you to know about, well, let me pop it up. I don't think it was, see, it was necessary to pop it up. Let's see. What is that? Uh, presets. That's not it. Lower third. Um, See, how do I find, oh, first, first, this is the end, let's see. That's the uh, URL for it now, and I've used, in the past, I've used showmeblog.com, which if you go to that, it'll kick you over to it, you know, also. And I used HMBBS, uh, let's say I used Howard.net. I sold that to a bank for five, that domain for $5,000 many years ago. Yeah, wait, wait a minute, hnbbs.com. 
Yeah. I sold that for $5,000. No, I did not sell that. I sold it for like $500. I feel like my voice is giving out here. Uh, it was H and BBS. No, it was Howard.net that I sold for 5000 The domain. But right now, I'm using the first dot blog. But it doesn't matter if you go to showmeblog.com. Kicks you over. If you go to, I don't know, a bunch of others, it'll kick you over also. But not much reason to go there, but... Uh, where I would like for you to go is right there, especially if you purchase something from, you know, go there and if you, let me see, I can show you that. There you go. Um, whoops. If you go here, you'll find a bunch of things. And if you click on one and buy it, I will get a commission. And I've been signed up with uh, Amazon.com or, yeah, Amazon. I've been signed up with Amazon um, forever. And I. I get about $18 a month commission. And uh, <clears throat> I think the way now it's, it's set up also still, I believe. Um, if you go here and I believe if you click on something and purchase it. If you go there and purchase that, then I will get a mission. I think, however, if you go to the site that you see the URL below, and if you use that link and then you purchase anything on Amazon, I believe I get a commission. So if you could try to use that, it's not going to cost you anything and might put a couple of dollars in my, uh, in my pocket. But my God, how long have I been Signed up with Amazon. Um, a little slow because I'm recording the uh, video. Let's see. Uh, earnings, payment history. This will show you. Sorry for the delay. Like I said, it's because it's being recorded. You can see right now that they owe me $8.83, but they don't pay until it's $10. So, I will, But then you can see the amounts here that, uh, you know, here's a month that uh, somebody must have bought something nice because I got $80. And here's a month where I got 34 But in general, you can see, and you can see that it goes back to, Well, it's, it shows 2009, but I may have been doing this before. But So, uh, if you've been watching my videos, because it's gross to look at, but uh, I actually, I think it's over with, uh, got black hairy tongue and it was because I was in the hospital for six days and they had me on a powerful antibiotic I had a an infection on my leg I bumped into the metal thing underneath my bed the bed stand scraped it and it got infected I was in there for six days I don't know if this started then or if it started when I came out of the hospital but um, this appears to have gone away on me. But the problem, uh, the taste buds are messed up. So it's going to take, I guess, a little bit. Uh, and it's really miserable. Things don't taste. 
Some things like strawberry malt taste great, but uh, some things, the taste buds are messed up, so the taste buds should come back, uh, hopefully. If not, it's going to be a miserable life because the foods that I like, the things that I like, do not taste <coughs> taste correct. But anyway, this condition, the way it looks, has gone away, and I, I brushed my tongue. I used a tongue scraper. I ordered in a tongue scraper. I was using Q-tips before I got there. And uh, then the doctor. It's not a condition you normally need to see a doctor for or whatever. But uh, my doctor prescribed a mouthwash that I use twice a day. Uh, so anyway, this is better. Uh, this is over, I think, except for the taste buds. And it's pretty miserable not being able to enjoy the things you, you know, you, you normally eat. So... Uh, I have a uh, Logitech G502 wired mouse, and it's it's nice, and it works for me. But I saw some reviews of the Logitech uh, G602, excellent reviews done on YouTube, and it's a wireless gaming mouse. And the price is down to $36. I d actually, I ordered it on new egg and I, I should have checked uh, it was about the same price but I'm probably gonna have to wait a week or so to get it from new egg and I could have had it uh, in one day I don't really need it but uh, all of the reviews that I saw on YouTube they, they were excellent reviews of it and everybody gives it uh, fantastic reviews so so I'm sure I'll be happy with it oh like I said it's coming up on 2 a.m. here let's see this by the way is I think I sold this. Yeah, I think I think I had the FZ80. Pretty sure I did, and I I believe I sold it on eBay. As you can see, I've got three Panasonic cameras here, including the oh, that's not the that's the FZ200, and. Uh, this is a G7. But the FZ80 has a zoom of 20 to 1,200 on it. And I just can't, uh, yeah, I, I'm sure I had one and I, sold it but they've upgraded it to uh, after that they upgraded it to 4k and or is that should say there's another one so is this it here let's see yeah this is okay yeah this is the up make sure you buy the upgraded one by the way so it's only three hundred dollars does 4K and it has that fantastic zoom. It has some, it's not, um, well, it just has that fantastic zoom, and I don't really need a fantastic zoom or a zoom at all, but uh, I'm tempted to get it just to have it in case. Uh, Let's see, wait a minute, is that? Want to make sure it's not. Uh, 
used or something. Anyway, it's an interesting, uh, interesting camera. Uh, like I said, it has a few shortcomings, but uh, you know, I, I, I'm not, I was going to say I hate Amazon. I don't. I love Amazon and the service. You know, I could order this now and get it tomorrow if I order within the next 10 hours. I'm not going to, but uh, whoops, ouch. So, uh, please try and use that link there for uh, let me take that off there we go please try to use that uh, link an awful lot of the YouTube videos that I make I I turn off well I can I can show you that uh, I turn off the ads YouTube I put something political. Uh, let's see. Go to my channel. No, I want to go to Creator Studio. And go to Video Manager. Here you can see, uh, well, this is the one where I took that little tour of radio stations around the world. So uh, I turned off, of course, but they would have anyway flagged me because there was, you were hearing some radio stations and a little bit of music. But so, I, but anyway, I, uh, but you can see here I turned off myself uh, putting ads. Uh, here's one that has ads and has ads. Here's one where I turned it off, and uh, another one where you can see that I've turned off all of these. And uh, <laughs> this is kind of silly. This is the uh, video I made uh, about the pill cutter, and I didn't turn the monetization off, but YouTube did because they decided it was inappropriate. <laughs> and uh, I'm guessing that because in the tags I put medication or drug or pill or something like that. So, so but since a lot of my videos don't make, well, it might, I make about $30 a month from YouTube, so. I, I could turn them all off and it wouldn't, you know, wouldn't matter. But uh, if you use that link, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. I already closed it down, didn't I? Oh, oh no, it's, uh, let's see. There it is. Well, one of them. Also, when I make a video, if I like, uh, when I get my new mouse, I'm not really going to review it because people have done fantastic reviews of it, but I will show it to you and tell you whether I like it or not and, uh, you know, and I'll put a link, I'm sure, to it. If you do click on that link, you know, here on YouTube, then uh, I, uh, whoops, let me take this thing off. If I have something like that that I show you and, I, and there's a link there and it goes to Amazon, probably if you click on that and go there and purchase it, or if you go there and don't purchase it, and but while you're there, if you click on something else, please, if you're buying a, a Mercedes or a, a gigantic <laughs> big screen TV or something, please 
please use my link. And then when you get there, go purchase what you want to because uh, that would help out. Uh, what else? I think that's, uh, well, no, let me update you. <clears throat> I got the hospital bill for being in there for six days. Uh, as you know, I left AMA, Against Medical Advice, the hospital. When you do that, it gets really pissed at you. They refuse to tell me what, give me any paperwork. They um, refused to tell me, well, they refused to tell me who the urologist that I was going to see, you know, they had set it up, <laughs> uh, what medication I was, they refused to give me anything. I left there with zero paperwork. But anyway, right away, I got a bill from them, and the bill for the six days that I was in there for the infected leg, the bill was, and this is a, if you're, not in the United States, or maybe even if you're in the United States, uh, this is, I wanted to mention this. I mentioned this in the past, but I didn't have a bill to work with. So for the six days, I, well, I, what I wanted to say was, <laughs> since they refused to give me anything, I'd be stupid on my part to do it, but I've just, I've, I've just attempted to say, uh, uh, you refused to tell me who my doctor was. You refused to tell me what medication I needed to continue taking. And uh, you didn't give me any paperwork, so, you know, to hell with your paperwork. But anyway, just uh, something I would like to do, but nobody cared, and they wouldn't, you know, it's, and the people dealing with it wouldn't be. And But anyway, the problem with health care in the United States. So anyway, I was in the hospital for six days. The hospital bill, $31,000. Now, um, my health insurance, Medicare, they paid $6,000. So the hospital bills a patient $31,000. The insurance company, in this case, Medicare, pays $6,000. Then the hospital, because Medicare, or because not, or if you have insurance, uh, they subtract, they drop, they take off the bill $24,000, off this bill, $24,000. That leaves... $1,375 that I have to pay. Now, I know if you're in Canada, Sweden, Denmark, Germany, whatever you're going, what? You know, because over there, I don't think you people pay anything. Or maybe you pay $100 or pounds or whatever. So, welcome to American health care. Um, So the billing was for $31,000. Health insurance paid 6000 And the hospital just gets about $24,000. And I'm supposed to pay $1,375. The point I want to make, and I've tried making it in the past about ER visits or whatever, is this crazy. If somebody does not have health insurance, they go into the hospital, ER I did, they don't have health insurance, they run up a $31,000 bill, there's no insurance company, so the hospital bills you for $31,000. You don't get seven, uh, you don't get 20, $4,000 taken off of the bill. You are billed for $31,000. That just doesn't make sense. But it, you especially see that with ER visits. You know, if, if I go to the emergency room for an ER visit and they bill me, or the bill is uh, $1,000, um, 
the insurance company probably pays, you know, $900 of it. And, uh, well, they wouldn't pay 900 They'd pay, I don't know, 250 of it, and the hospital would wipe out $500 of it or something, and I would, I would get billed for, I don't know, $150 or $100 or something. If you go to the hospital, the emergency room, and it's really expensive, you do not have insurance. Let's say that the bill is $1,000. You don't have much money. You don't have insurance. The hospital bills you for the full amount, $1,000. So a person gets that bill, you know, and, you know, what are they going to do? I think most of them would just say, well, I just don't have $1,000, so I'm not going to pay it. If the hospital bill them the same amount that they would bill somebody who had health insurance and where the insurance company or where they made a deal with the insurance company. Then a person, if you got a bill for $100, $150, $250 from the emergency room, but you know, you could send them $50 one month and the next month, maybe $50. Maybe you're, you know, maybe you could only send them 25, you know, you could do something. The system is just totally screwed up here in the United States. So, now by the way, problem when you go to the hospitals here in the United States, you get a bill from the hospital. And then if you have x-rays done, you may get a bill from the uh, radiologist or whatever for hundreds of dollars. Um, oops, this isn't it. Okay, I guess I got it laying over someplace. So uh, you'll get a bill for radiology services. Even maybe ER doctors will bill you separately from the, it is just a total mess. So what everybody, what we need in the United States is Medicare for everybody. So instead of getting Medicare when you're 65, you should, you know, get Medicare when you're born from then on. Now they would have to change, you know, a few things with it because those of us who are getting Medicare, we paid our entire lives. Uh, every payday, we paid money into Social Security retirement and we paid into Medicare. And even when, even when I went on Medicare at age 65, uh, I still pay a hundred dollars a month, you know, into that. But uh, if you had everybody on it, then you would make some type of an adjustment. Uh, I'm not sure how you would make it, but it's well, it's how they're doing it in the UK and Canada and the rest of the civilized world. And the United States has the most expensive. <laughs> medical care there is, and uh, it is a mess. Needs to, well, I said I wasn't going to get anything political. Well, I don't think that's political. It's just, to me, it's common sense. So. Anyway, I thank you very much for uh, watching.